What is good everybody and today we're talking about monitors. Can they improve your console gaming experience? Focusing on FPS games since that is this channel's focus, however everything we're talking about today relates to console games in general. The main stat that gets thrown around for monitors being the benefit over TVs when it comes to gaming is faster response times. So let's talk about response times for a second though because it's a statistic that usually is thrown around incorrectly online. First of all, Response times are not about how quickly the monitor reacts to your input. Rather, it's more about how quickly your monitor can display a change from black to white. How quickly can a pixel change itself from black to white? Now, your pixels need to transition faster than your refresh rate so that they can display the next frame on time. What does all that basically mean? Well, on a 60 hertz monitor, you want your response time to be very quick so that the next frame that shows up is the correct colors and it's the exact correct representation of what that frame is. So if you've ever played on a really inexpensive monitor, something with like a 20 MS response time or greater, this usually materializes in the form of what's called ghosting. This is when trails of the previous frame or motion or moving objects from that previous frame show up on the following frame. And this can lead to super distracting visual artifacts that can take your focus off of the image and off of the game. I've had two monitors that I've played with over the years. I currently play on a BenQ RL2455HM, which is a mouthful, but that is a 1ms response time monitor. My old monitor was a less expensive 24-inch 7ms LG monitor, and the difference between the two is night and day, with the LG, the longer response time one, giving a lot more ghosting and much more blurriness when I'm playing 60fps games, and there's a lot of motion going on, and it's distracting. I won't say a 1ms or a 2ms response time monitor will radically change your, change your gameplay. However, it can improve the experience and make it easier to focus on what's going on in the frame and you get a more accurate representation of what's actually going on. A couple of other benefits of a monitor too is the fact that you can see the entire frame. Monitors are usually 24 or 27 inch for 1080p monitors. And that means, depending on your seating distance, like how far away from the monitor you are, you can see the whole frame. The peripheral vision doesn't have to scan, like your eyes don't have to move across the screen as much as they would if you were like on a big 55 inch TV to look at the radar, look at somebody flanking on the edge of the screen. You get a sense of the entire image at once, which in a first person shooter is huge. If you can see somebody flanking or see the radar from the corner of your eye without having to run your entire eyes across the screen up to the upper left or wherever the radar may be, that is an advantage. Additionally, a lot of modern monitors have what's called a black equalizer. It's a complicated way of saying that the monitor can play with the gamma curve to make the really dark areas a bit brighter. This can definitely help like in dark, dark, dark areas, and you might be able to pull some definition out, but it can also kill the mood if you're looking for any sort of cinematic experience. However, there are some cons to monitors. They're not as fun for casual games, it requires a different seating setup like a desk, and you usually are a lot closer. And it totally is not fun for couch co-op. Like it takes away the more chill vibes of gaming where you have a couch, you've got some friends, you can just lean back. Or let's say it's a more cinematic narrative driven game, less competitive. HD TVs are sometimes amazing for this and you get this much more theatrical experience that you just don't end up getting on a monitor or it's just a different atmosphere. You have to decide for yourself. Also, a lot of the new OLED 4K TVs have massive input lag around like 20 to 40 ms so if you're in the market for a 4k tv be very aware that response times right now are generally a little bit higher because 4k tvs aren't always being optimized with gaming in mind now if you're purchasing a monitor what are you looking for if you're purely a console player and you're not getting into the, the pc market anytime soon a 60 hertz monitor is just fine because modern consoles are not rendering anything more than 60 fps currently however if you think you might become a PC gamer soon, or you're gonna be playing PC games on this monitor, do think about a 144 hertz monitor because that can drastically improve your experience. That means the monitor can refresh, refresh 144 times per second rather than 60 times, like a 60 hertz monitor. You also may wanna think about an ultra wide or a 4K monitor. It all depends on your situation, your budget, and what the next you know few years for your gaming looks like. My recommendation, I would look at a 1080p 60 hertz monitor that has one to two ms of response time double check that response time on displaylag.com and read reviews so long story short can it help you yeah it can be beneficial it can improve the experience it's not going to just transform your gameplay 
but it can make for an all-around better experience. But you may have an incredible TV that you find works perfectly for you. I played many years on TV, thought it was a fine experience, but if you're getting <laughs> a little bit more dirty and you're looking to upgrade to the next step, may want to go for a monitor. That might be an option to look at. If there's anything that I missed or any questions you have for me, ask them down in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Have an awesome Monday, and we'll talk with you soon.